This is the Alhambra Investments Weekly Pulse for the week of March 22nd, and Joe Calhoun is here and is in a brand new location from the last time we talked to him. Joe is now in South Carolina. Yeah, Bob, we finally made the move. Uh, 30 years in Miami seemed like enough, and uh, they were offering ridiculous amounts of money for real estate down there, so we thought we'd take it. And we have moved back to the great state of South Carolina where I grew up. And uh, spring is starting to sproin. I was out in the yard this morning looking at things. It's uh, it's nice to be in a place where spring lasts longer than 10 minutes. In the past, we've done the monthly macro monitor and other reports. The weekly pulse will replace all those. This one will be shorter, will be more concise. But Joe, tell us how you see the weekly pulse. Well, I just wanted to be a quick update. I mean, I, everybody's busy and uh, what they need is a, a quick synopsis of how things went last week, what to expect this week, and uh, and kind of what the what the uh, the main things to watch are. And that's all we're trying to do here is just give people a heads up. The first thing this week is the supplemental leverage ratio. And as you pointed out in the report, it is much ado about nothing. Well, a year ago at the onset of the virus, uh, the Fed, one of their emergency uh, changes, I suppose, was that uh, big banks would no longer have to meet this supplemental leverage ratio that treasuries and reserves on their balance sheet would no longer be part of the capital calculation. So there was this big worry that, oh my gosh, well, if they don't extend this thing, well, banks might have to sell treasuries or they're going to have limited uh, balance sheet capacity to make loans and so forth. Uh, and uh, I, I guess everybody thought it was going to be Armageddon and it turned out not to be much at all. Uh, look, Jeff talked about this on Keith McCullough's uh, show a couple of days ago, a few days ago before they made the announcement and said, look, they're not going to extend it. And he turned out to be right. And, uh, and of course, it's a non-event. Look, I think that the message here is more than anything is that the market incorporates all the information that's out there. And uh, look, the big banks have plenty of capital. JP Morgan is not going to, uh, to suffer. Uh, they're not going to have to, to do anything special because, this, uh, because of this, uh, uh, this uh, suspension of this rule has, uh, has not been extended. It just doesn't mean that much. But people focus on things all the time that don't mean all that much. And this is just the latest one. Interest rates are still going up, but then that's nothing new either. No, I mean, look, uh, rates bottomed uh, and started to, to climb in, you know, really seriously last August. Uh, it's been eight months. I mean, if you're still sitting here, you know, this long, eight months into it, and the bond keep, bonds keep going down on a weekly basis, if you're still sitting there losing money on a weekly basis, I don't think you should be blamed. You shouldn't be blaming the SLR. You shouldn't be blaming Jerome Powell. You should be blaming yourself. Look, the trend is up. Uh, I don't know when it'll end. I don't know where it'll end, but it'll end eventually and, and we'll go back down. But, uh, you know, you have to follow the trends. And the trend right now is pretty obviously up. Uh, and it's been that way for eight months. It hasn't changed. Uh, and it's just a consequence of people looking forward and saying that the virus is going to end. Uh, the economy is going to improve or continue to improve. Uh, we'll see how all that plays out. I don't try to predict anything. You just take things as they come. Fact is, right now, rates are going up. Not a bad thing, by the way. Uh, rates going up is a positive sign of, of, you know, how people view the economy. On the other hand, I would just point out, as I did in the report, the levels of interest rates are still extraordinarily low, which means that even though growth expectations are rising, they're not very good. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, everybody seems to be expecting this big boom when the virus is gone. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I think there's a lot of, there is some pent up demand for certain things. Uh, how much of an offset there is from, you know, maybe people shift and start buying airline tickets, but they stop buying, I don't know, couches. Uh, I, I don't know how that's going to play out. Uh, but right now, like I said, rates are rising. It's a positive sign and we'll take it as it is. Anything you're looking at for this week? Well, yeah, we've got a few reports out this week that uh, I think will give us a, a kind of a, a, an indication of how the big picture is. Uh, the Chicago Fed National Activity Index actually came out this morning at a minus 1.09, which means that uh, the economy, at least looking backwards, was below trend. Uh, the three-month average, which is what we really watch, is a minus 0.02, I think. So it's right at zero, which means you're growing at trend. Uh, but, you know, we had a little bit of a slowdown in the fourth quarter uh, in December. So I don't think that's that surprising. Uh, what we're really looking for is, is what happens next month. Uh, we'll get another indication too on production. Uh, we'll get durable goods this week, uh, durable goods orders this week, which might give us an indication of how things are going. Uh, you know, we, we talked last week about the inventory numbers and how the inventory to sales ratio has dropped a lot. We'll see how those orders are coming in. Uh, we'll also get some personal income numbers later this week too. 
Uh, those are going to be negative uh, just simply because, well, actually, you know what? I don't know. Maybe they won't be negative. It depends on whether they capture this latest uh, stimulus payment. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be in this report or not. But uh, either way, quite frankly, I'm not sure it means all that much. Um, but that's just that's it. Just normal stuff. Uh, watching the dollar, watching uh, interest rates, just the things that we normally watch. All right. Thanks, Joe. If you'd like to see Joe's entire report, the link is posted below.